Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Why You Should Play. Uh, my name is Matt. Uh, Why You Should Play is a, basically an informative series uh, detailing uh, in depth why you should or should not play a certain game, based on my opinion, obviously. Uh, for the first game, we are going to play Dust Force. Uh, to say a few words about it, uh, Dust Force is actually a very interesting game. Um, it's a 2D side-scrolling platformer with kind of quick reflex kind of actions that need to be taken to kind of scale um, platforms very quickly. Uh, there's a combo meter, obviously. Well, uh, maybe not obviously, but there's a combo meter that you get for the more dust, obviously in the name, Dust Force. The more dust you collect, the more combo meter you build. And your bar, which will, I will show you uh, later when we actually get to the gameplay, the bar will build up, and then once the bar gets full, you can do a sort of like a kind of a super move that clears a lot of dust or enemies that are on the uh, on the stage currently. Uh, there's, there's um, it's currently four characters as you can see on the left side of the screen. There's like the green janitor, the blue janitor, uh, the red janitor, and the purple janitor. Um, although I'm not really sure, I would I would guess that they have different kind of moves slash or some are faster or slower. I personally like to play as the the purple uh, pom pom janitor. But that's, I think that's more personal, personal preference than anything. Um, you have uh, four keys. You have the control key, which is used to dash. The Z key, which is jump. The X key, which is like a light hit with, uh, for example, with the pom pom girl. It's like a light pom pom hit. A light broom hit if you're playing as the red or the blue janitor. Um, and I imagine it's a light hit with the, the green janitor as well. And the, the C key is a, a larger radius hit. Uh, usually what you'll do is... When you jump off a platform, if you see dust on like uh, a surface, you can use the the X or the C key to hit the dust and keep momentum, and that'll actually let you probably do another jump with it, so that you can keep the kind of the combo going. Because you want to keep the combo going because the combo gets you better scores at the end, and the scores the better the score you have, it's shown on like an online leaderboard. So the incentive is you want to get the best on the leaderboard or better than anybody else. So let's hop in the game. As you can see, uh, when you start out the game, there's a hub world uh, with doors uh, like these, which lead to the, the level uh, hubs, which has each uh, stage inside of it. There's also up here is a level editor, and over here is a tutorial. Uh, so first, we would select our kind of level hub, and as you can see, you can explore around, and each of these doors will lead to another level in itself. Uh, a fun thing about this game is that you can traverse each of these level hubs with this and kind of hone your skills with the certain jumps. As you can see, I'm not I'm not exactly a uh, pro at this game, although it's not required to be pro to have fun in this certain uh, environment. So let's just select a level. Uh, courtyard seems to be fitting. And you have the choice of the four characters shown on the title screen. I will go with the purple girl. And so what you want to do is you want to, as you can see, there's a timer and the combo meter in the bottom. I want to collect the dust on the walls. And that'll build up my combo. And I don't want to drop my combo. Because if I drop my combo, I get a not a good score at the end. So everything's really basically kind of self-motivated. Like, do you want a good score? Yes. Then... Obviously, you want to collect all the dust. You want to do it fast, and you want to do it without missing dust or letting your combo drop. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to, obviously, be able to get all the, the dust. Very annoying. Okay, so that was my super, which is X and C. Um, this game takes a lot of concentration, so doing kind of a talking while playing is very, very difficult if you are attempting to get kind of any sort of record. So I would suggest if you really want to get good at this game, you got to learn how to concentrate. Because concentration is very key to playing this game well. Okay. 
And as you can see, a lot of it is finesse and skill, like I mentioned earlier. And that it takes a lot of practice. Don't expect to go through a level once and complete it 100%. Because if you watch people who are even very good at this game, unlike me, you'll see that they take multiple tries on stages, even if the stage is very easy, because they make simple mistakes that add up in the long run. It's when you see, it's for example, when you see someone speedrun a game, they'll do multiple, multiple, multiple tries before they would even set a home record, or a world record, I should say. As you see, I got a B for completion, meaning I missed some dust, and a C for finesse, meaning, unfortunately, I did not finesse it well enough. Um, but I think that that's a good showing of the, the game's controls. Uh, as you can see, when you hover over a, uh, a level, it shows the best score that you had gotten on that level, and also shows these keys, which are used to unlock higher up levels uh, later on. Um, it's, very, it's a very interesting uh, concept. Uh, although, I would say that if you're looking for a kind of a game that's going to be very, very time consuming, uh, I would not say this game would be the best, because it seems to me that it would be, it's good in like kind of 30 minute bursts, but after that, it's, it's very hard, because it's a, it's a very fast paced kind of game, and there's not a lot of substance to it in which you would be kind of engaged in it. It's very atmospheric, uh, as you can see by the music and by the level design. But prompts to the, the people who made this, because the music is just fantastic. I have to say, it's probably one of the best soundtracks I've heard in a game that fits kind of with the game uh, very well, and it's not just annoying. Like, it's not just music just to be music. It's music to set the stage. Music to set the mood of it. Because it's very easy to get frustrated in a, in a game like this. So any sort of high octane music would only serve to kind of greaten the rage you might have. Cause I, I mean, I've had I have had rage for each uh, moments at this game. Uh, because sometimes you know the old saying like, "Oh man, I hit this button but it didn't register," and those can be kind of annoying. Also, it can be annoying when you miss dust like that, and then you have to drop your combo just to collect it. But there's a lot of a lot of timing involved. Like you the time jumps well. And you also an issue that I have is I press like you can't just press down the keys and just speed run through it. You have to actually kind of know what you're doing. You have to do button press as well. Because if you just press random buttons you can end up not grabbing onto a wall and dropping your combo. Which, as I've been reiterating for basically the whole video, <laughs> combos are very important. Combos give you all uh, supers, and if you have your super, you can easily get past trickier uh, parts of stages. But you don't want to use your super too early. Like, I would not want to use my super right here, because I believe the end of the level is coming up soon. Now I may be wrong because I haven't played this level too much, but at the end the level's coming up and I use my super back there to clean up something that obviously didn't take me that long to clean up, it's usually a waste of a super. As you can see, I was correct, the end of the level right here, and I used my super to finish it off and keep up the combo of, I believe it was around 240 or 250, giving me S completion and B finesse. Um, I did drop my combo, I believe, once or twice during that stage, so that's why I got the B finesse, but it's very good. Uh, it's very good uh, if you're just kind of not really super concentrated onto the game itself. Um, as you can see, the leaderboard is on the right, I didn't really mention that. Uh, you can separate it into friends, or you can just keep it on yourself. As you can see, I'm the only friend uh, that's playing this game, although I don't really have a lot of Steam friends, so that could be another uh, reason. But the times, you can see there's a huge difference. I completed mine in my best at 2.20, these people completed it at 1.11. Um, so as you can see, there's a huge difference between me and them, but it doesn't mean I can't enjoy this game casually, because I think that's what really players want out of this game. It's a very, very casual laid-back game. It's not hardcore, it's not your, uh, it's not Bioshock, it's not Mass Effect, it's not 
It's not an RPG. It's not an FPS. It's not going to... It's not supposed to be kind of that kind of blockbuster. It's going to be kind of simple, kind of casual. Oh, I kind of want to play a game, but I don't want to get too hardcore into it. You know, I can just play some, some Dust Force, you know? And the music helps a lot with that. It helps set the kind of casual tone that players want with a game like this. So, I believe if you're looking for a casual kind of game, this is the perfect game for you. It's very, very inexpensive on the Steam store, and it's very fun. It'll last you a while. It's got a lot of levels. Uh, you can get user-created levels as well. So, I believe if you're just looking for a game to have fun, Dust Force is the right thing for you. So, uh, that's it for why you should play. My name is Matt. I will see you next week.